So yesterday, as you probably all know, was an absolutely massive day for Ninjago news. GTA 6 trailer coming up? Pfft. We got new Ninjago sets, who cares? In this wave of new Ninjago sets, we got one particular minifigure which I have not stopped thinking about since I've seen it. That being the Master Lloyd minifigure. I am so incredibly excited about this and I just want to make a quick video discussing exactly why I feel that way. And the short answer is, this is so overdue. Master Lloyd was something that first started to be set up by the Ninjago show all the way back in 2015. I've been waiting 8 years for this. And after all this time, we finally have it. What I appreciate about how Master Lloyd was finally brought into the Ninjago story is that they didn't just plop it on us out of nowhere. At the start of Dragon's Rising Season 1, Lloyd does not feel like he is nearly wise enough to be a master. It's why at first, he outright refuses to train Aaron and Sora, claiming they need Wu rather than him. I'm not skilled enough to be your master. You need Wu. But eventually, he decides, what's the worst that can happen? He's gonna try and become a teacher. He still isn't going by Master Lloyd yet, though, because he still doesn't feel worthy of that title. I'm not a master, but maybe I could be a teacher. This brings us to the season finale of Dragons Rising Season 1, in what I think is an incredibly underrated moment from that season. So in the climax of Dragons Rising Season 1, Lloyd is presented with having to channel Source Dragon energy through himself in order to save all of Ninjago. And he can't do it, he gets too overwhelmed and starts freaking out. This is until Aaron asks him this question. If you were me or Sora, what would you tell us? <sighs> Ninja never quit. Ultimately, Lloyd follows his own advice and ends up saving all of Ninjago and the rest of the merged realms. I think this moment here is the one that's going to lead Lloyd to becoming a master. I think Lloyd's whole arc in Dragon's Rising Season 1 is grappling with his self-doubt and realizing he is worthy of becoming not only a teacher, but a master. And I think this moment where Lloyd's own advice is what ends up saving him, his friends, and the whole world from utter annihilation is what would ultimately give him the confidence he needs to take up the Master title. Character progression is why I'm so happy with this minifigure. What getting a minifigure of Lloyd and Master Robes rather than his regular ninja suit tells me is that Dragon's Rising Season 1 was not a fluke. Obviously, whilst the changes made in subsequent seasons aren't going to be as big as the first season, the Ninjago producers are absolutely still willing to make changes that progress the character and overarching plot forwards without having to worry about a status quo, which I'm super happy about. And beyond all of the absolutely wonderful story implications for this minifigure, it's just such a nice design. Dragon's Rising sets have shifted Lloyd from having the regular Lego green on his suits to having a light green, which I think looks really nice. And what's cool about it on this minifigure is that because it reuses the headband hair from the Island Lloyd minifigure, we get an updated version of that piece that falls in line with Lloyd's new color scheme. And usually I don't like seeing the Island hair pieces used in place of the normal ninja hair pieces, but I feel like it fits this minifigure really well, so I can make an exception. Also, the torso and legs on this minifigure are absolutely spectacular. It feels very similar to something Master Wu would wear, but still feels uniquely Lloyd. Which, beyond it using Lloyd's green colours, is mainly owed to the scale detailing on the robes, I think. Which look pretty reminiscent of Lloyd's Oni armour from Crystallized. This is a wonderful design. It was awesome to see that Ninjago is willing to start moving the characters forward again in Dragon's Rising Season 1. And I am so happy that Season 2 is going to keep that momentum going. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.